so today we will see uh, the real time situation you know uh, you might get this requirement like you have to uh, two or multiple aws accounts there in the environment and in account a you have a ec2 instance okay and inside the uh, in the account b you have a s3 bucket okay so from account a i mean the ec2 instance you want to access the account b s3 bucket okay this is the requirement right namita yes yes okay so here is the use case basically you earlier asked the question like sts you no know, temporary credentials so this might be the helpful for you so it's as actually use assume role basically instead of creating the users uh, credentials and uh, configure here so we can use assume role here okay so what is the requirement basically in account b we need to create one iml role with the this s3 bucket policy okay and then we are, after the creation of the IMA role, it will generate one uh, role ARN. Then uh, account A, where is the EC2 instance? Okay, we need to create one IMA role here. And then uh, we can assign the, that required policy. I will show you in the later that policy we need to add in, in this. And then in the EC2 instance, we need to configure some profile basically. So we will show uh, step by step. So these are the situation. Okay and then we will see so uh, yesterday i had just mentioned this step by step process so after the session i will definitely share this so we have a two account as we have seen aws uh, a and b where a has ec2 instance and b has s3 bucket okay so first we will go to account b where is your s3 bucket hosted right and we will create one ima role there with this name demo cross s3 ima role okay where is the s3 bucket i have a login in the incognito mode so let me go to the ima here and i want to open here s3 bucket so in the role basically when we just create the role you know simply here we need to select the other account because we are giving the permission to other account okay so just select this if we are use, use case like we want to give the access within this account then we will go with the this options so, but now we have we need to give the access to the another account so we need to choose this one okay and just simply here the option select another account and we need to enter the account a uh, account id here where is the ec2 instance created right so let's go to that so uh, i have already collected the account id here uh, here okay and then just simply paste here and simply click next here we need to create the policy I have already created the policy for the single S3 bucket, okay, which is we already uh, shown yesterday. I don't want to give all the bucket access here. I want to just simply give the gate and list bucket access to for this only single bucket, okay. So let me create one separate policy here. So just expand it and policy open in new tab. create policy either you can use a vision json based or sorry not json visual uh, editor okay graphical way or you can just use a json method so simply paste here the bucket name we have already bucket here that is the reason we have i have not created the bucket okay so just uh, verify once again s3 cross account test s3 bucket cross account test okay and then just simply create the bucket uh, policy and we can give the policy name here cross account okay then just simply create policy so once policy has been created we can go back to 
the process which we are creating the role basically just refresh this button so that policy will pop up here and just search with the policy what is the name demo cross account s3 access okay this one just simply click on that and next role name we need to give so what is the role name i have this one simply copy and paste demo cross s3 ima role okay and then just simply create the role so after created the role just click on view roles and we need to copy the role arn basically okay which is we need for the account a policy configuration so just copy and i'm just making the note of here okay and then now account b setup has been completed now go to the account a where is the ec2 instance created okay so inside the account a we can create one role i am a role basically for the ec2 instance okay as a trusted entity so let's see so i am logging to aws account a here let me open the i am in the separate tab and role just simply create role and now we don't need to select this option we can go with this because we are granting the permission within this account okay so simply use case we want to configure for the ec2 instance okay if you want to configure for the lambda function then you should select lambda lambda here okay ec2 and simply next now the policy is basically we need to give this assume role here okay sts you know uh, security token service so just replace the arn which we have copied okay in this policy okay. let's copy this policy and um, for now i am just not giving any uh, permission just simply click next uh, give the role name demo s3 cross ec2 access okay and just click on next uh, create role just click on view role okay now in the policy uh, in the permission basically now we don't need to give the any other uh, permissions we can just simply click on add and create inline policy and we can just paste that inline policy is basically uh, the method is like this inline policy is uh, completely restricted to this uh, role only we can't use this inline policy for another any uh, roles or users this is specifically bound to only this role basically and if you tomorrow after the session completed and if you, if you delete this uh, the role so it, uh, this inline policy automatically get deleted okay this is the difference in normal policy and this inline policy basically okay okay so simply now click next and we can give the policy name demo cross access from ec2 and give the any name just i'm just giving this name simply create this policy demo s3 cross access so now our basic setup is done basically okay so we have created a, we have created um, i am a role here where the s3 bucket okay with the uh, policy and inside the trust entity we given the access account id access for this account a okay for this role and we have added uh, this s3 bucket permission for this user uh, for this role okay not for this role okay and inside the account a we have created one ima role which which will use for the ec2 instance this ec2 instance okay and for this ima role we have created one inline policy which can take help or get the credentials 
assume role basically by using assume role from here to access this bucket okay so now we need to do one more configuration now we need to log into our ec2 instance okay and we need to configure this profile basically okay let me show you again so here we need to just replace the arn this role arn basically uh, we have created the role in the account b where is the s3 bucket okay now we need to log into ec2 instance okay either we can use putty or we can use direct console access here you can just simply select this ec2 instance and simply click on connect okay and just to again connect okay so it will automatically connect through the console yeah connected now we can go into the sudo su for the root permission and now as i as it has shown when we configure you know aws configure it will generate two files right credentials and configure so where it is generated basically under the root user we can see the file uh, folder dot aws right here so we need to go into that folder dot aws okay and simply there is a config file so we can just do vim here yesterday i have done practice so let me delete this okay so now i am just pasting the configuration here so here is basically i am just configured one profile uh, yesterday or some day i just explain you right if you have multiple aws account so we can use hyphen hyphen profile option right and this role arn basically normally we will get the region or something but in this in, in this situation we need to add this role arn here okay because this role uh, will use as a getting the temporary credentials for account b where is the s3 bucket created so a real a role arn basically we get from the account b account b role arn okay this one 5611 and this role okay Five six double one. Okay, and credential source basically is to instance metadata. What is the is to instance metadata? Basically, you might heard about the user data, but is to instance metadata is basically uh, when we fetch is to instance metadata for any particular instance, uh, it has uh, all the configurations like is to instance instance type, IP address, and all the basically properties uh, is to instance properties. So this will uh, use as a getting the credentials. Temporary credentials from the S2 instance metadata. Okay, and then just simply save this file. And now, just to uh, test it's uh, properly working or not, there is one more command. Uh, this is just to verify. You no, know, assume role is working fine or not. It's basically we use generate temporary credentials with this com uh, options, and we use hyphen hyphen profile test. Okay, because we have created. Uh, test profile here in the config if you see the config file here we have mentioned right test so in the real time project whatever you have mentioned in the profile name you can give this you can add here instead of test you can use that profile okay so let me just run this command it's giving the error because we have not attached that role to ac2 instance we need to attach right so where is the account created we have in this account a we have created one role right demo s3 cross account access so we need to assign this role to that ac2 instance how we can assign it's very simple just connect that uh, click on that server from the action okay and the security here is the option modify ima role okay and here just refresh what is the role name let me copy the search here okay. demo s3 cross ec2 access just select that and update role okay and now run again the same command 
yeah you can see the your account details right namita your uh, account b where we have created the s3 bucket okay it should it should print like this the session basically temporary credit. okay now we will try to access that bucket okay what is the bucket name let me go to that account s3 bucket cross account test okay so i have already note down here s3 bucket cross so let me run this command so we can execute this command basically i am just uh, giving the command like aws s3 ls just list out the uh, whatever the folder present there okay and i am using profile hyphen app and test because we have configured the test profile so just press enter so if the user has proper permission so it will print the whatever the data present inside the bucket okay now we have uh, four files there so so let's give, go to that s3 bucket account and cross verify which is account b okay so just click on that bucket so as of now you can see there are four, four uh, files let me delete two we need to add this option perma we deleted two files and just now two are remaining so let's execute the same command again yeah. so this way you can use your you know, cross account uh, role basically to access any particular account access or uh, a yeah, bucket